The competitiveness and dynamism of the global society hinders the integration of people with sensory disabilities. In most cases, poor vision or hearing impairment are synonymous with cultural, work and social exclusion. In a welfare society, it is necessary to incorporate technology to promote the inclusion of these people in daily life and activities. The Assistive Technology Laboratory provides society with knowledge and electronic, optic and photonic technology as keys in new devices to make it possible for people with a sensory disability to participate, especially in the fields of education, culture, sports and leisure. We have uh, with, uh, with projects for different kinds of disability, mm. uh, for instance, for visual impaired to hard of hearing people and uh, other kind of uh, assistive technologies. We have the technology to build devices which correct perception impairments so that people with sensory disabilities can share leisure or work experiences with the rest of society under the same conditions. Our lab has contributed to, uh, to improve uh, this kind of uh, products um, introducing uh, some innovations in optoelectronics and photonics uh, for this kind of uh, services. In, in, for instance, we have developed uh, prototypes for uh, accessibility services such as uh, subtitling and uh, audio description. Additionally, the Apunta system is now being used in Carlos III University and previously has been tested in the Tres Olivos School. Uh, this system uh, allows uh, that uh, hard of hearing uh, students and the rest of uh, students can share uh, normal classes. The ability to address different disability profiles, along with our close ties to users through associations related to the Audiovisual Media Accessibility Lab and Thesia, both located in the Science Park, allow us to develop highly reliable innovative services with a better range. In the last two decades, in the use of electronics and photonics in uh, products related to uh, assistive technologies, have increased uh, a lot. Diverse and recognized experience allows us to develop technological solutions for poor vision and hearing impairment problems, to compete under the same conditions, to improve spatial mobility and to assure proper healthcare involvement. We talk about design, physical implementation of the system, training and end-user testing. 